months to go for elections in Telangana, this issue of the Prime Minister's degree, his educational qualification is also echoing in the state. You've got the Telangana BJP chief, Bandi Sanjay Kumar, questioning Chief Minister KCR after KCR also questioned what exactly the Prime Minister's educational qualification is. Now the BJP has asked the Telangana Chief Minister to show his postgraduate degree certificate. Bandi Sanjay Kumar has told KCR, show your degree, your postgraduate degree certificate before you attack the Prime Minister. Let's listen in to what the Telangana BJP chief said. We'll track all the reactions that are coming from the BRS on Bandi Sanjay's attack. But we told you in the beginning of this broadcast that we'd also talk about other politicians' educational qualifications. Let's run you through some of those and we'll get your details of those netas who aren't really the best educational qualified. Uh, you've got uh, Ramesh Vatheli, Union Minister, who at this point, as far as his education is concerned, is a higher secondary pass. And you'll see in this list that most of them have just about passed this school education. Tejasvi Yadav, the current Deputy Chief Minister of Bihar, has passed class 9th, after which he dropped out of school. He's right now the Deputy Chief Minister of Bihar. You've got Tej Pratap Yadav, his brother, who's a minister in the Bihar government, What's his educational qualification? He's just about passed his higher secondary, so he's finished his schooling, and that's about it. Now, what you'll also see is that there are several other names. Rabdi Devi, Tej Pratap, and Tejasvi Yadav's mother, former Bihar chief minister, passed class 8, dropped out of school post that, and then, of course, has been active in politics. Uma Bharti, former Madhya Pradesh chief minister, is a class 6 drop out. After that, she dropped out of her school education. J.J. Lalita, former Tamil Nadu chief minister, has just about passed her school education, was in fact admitted to a college, but because of her film career, dropped out of her studies at that point. M. Karunanadi, legend, Kalainir Karunanadi as he's called, a Tamil Nadu former chief minister, didn't complete his school education, didn't complete his formal education, and yet has shaped Tamil Nadu politics like no other politician has. So this really gets you to rethink about whether education matters. Of course, at this time and age, when you're talking about a country that's growing so fast, does it matter? And doesn't it also matter as to what kind of educational qualification, what degree the politician who represents you holds?